Two scientists, two continents, one idea. Frank Möcklich, born in Dresden, Germany, and Andres Lasagne of Argentina. They have succeeded in making the laser effect of light interference into a viable industrial process for the production of functional surfaces. We love this technology, yes. The laser can make patterns with all sorts of materials. That is a huge advantage. There are three concepts, two of which I actually dreamed up. I slept well and it was sweet waking up with them. Lasagne is professor for laser and surface technology at the Dresden University of Technology. He received his PhD at the Institute of Functional Materials at Saarland University under Professor Frank Möcklich. Here the two got to know and appreciate one another. And this is where the success story of the award-winning system began. I always say, if you're not sure whether you would rather study physics or chemistry, then you should go for material science. <laughs> The success of direct laser interference patterning proves him right. Patterns are created on various material surfaces by means of a laser, directly, precisely, and in record time. The effect is well known. Its application in materials engineering, his contribution. We bring several laser beams into interference which is a fascinating phenomenon. This means that a pattern of laser intensity develops out of several beams that is determined by the wavelength, which means that we are suddenly in the range of micrometers, but can pattern a surface across the entire width of the laser all in one go. The result? Tailored microstructures and topographies. This is how new innovative materials are created for industry. As head of the Steinbeis Research Center, Frank Möcklich builds bridges between knowledge and application for the transfer of technology to industry. It is still fascinating today that we can melt metal using a laser as a light source, that we can concentrate all this intensity of light to nanoseconds and suddenly be able to generate any given temperature with it, then concentrate it even more to pico and femtoseconds and remove some material, all without heating it up. Dresden, cultural magnet and city of the sciences. The city has become a second home to South American Andres Lasagne. By the way, colorful shirts are his calling card. Training future engineers, his dream job. He told me he could dance, he's a Latino. Tango, most likely. Salsa. From innovation to production. At the Fraunhofer Institute for Materials and Beam Technology, Andres Lasagne and his team developed the system until it was ready to be marketed. The challenge? Significantly shorter process times at a higher resolution and lower facility and production costs. When he first called me and said, I have an idea and it needs relatively little space and will dramatically lower the costs, I first didn't believe him. I thought, this is amazing. If you can reduce the cost to such an extent that industry will not have any reservations about investing, then it should have a chance. I don't gain anything if I have to pay 10,000 euros for processing one square meter. Here, we're paying between one and two euros. There is almost no limit to the potential applications. Plagiarism protection for products, for example. Or, in medicine, antibacterial services in hospitals. In the automotive industry, a new generation of electrical connectors will soon be available that is less prone to malfunctioning. A further example, solar technology. This is a nano-structured sleeve made of nickel. With our optics, we can pattern the entire surface. And that in just a few seconds. The patterning on this sleeve can be used to increase the efficiency of organic solar cells by about 35%. Alexander Gerst, the future commander of the ISS, has also expressed interest in the revolutionary innovation. Keyword, combating pathogenic bacteria on board. Which means there is still a lot to do for the two exceptional scientists and their colleagues. However, first, a brief language lesson. 
For example, a Saxon would not say, na klar, everything okay. A Saxon would say, nu klar. <laughs> Does he understand that? Now, after a few years, yes. The first few years, I had a few problems with the word nu. Nu means, yes, here. Do you want to go? No. <laughs> and for the first few months, I didn't know if he was saying yes or no. Should I go? Or, or telling time, for example. They say, it's three quarters four, which means a quarter to four, which means that you have to be very good at math. And so I understand how Mr. Mücklich got to be so good at math. <laughs>